ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೆತ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಪುರುಷ ಉತ್ತಸ್ತೌ ಹೇಮ ಮಾಲೀಯಮಲಾಂಬರ ಹಿರನ್ಮಯೇನ ಪಾತ್ರೇನ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಯ ಪಾಯಸ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ no purport translation vaishnava prabhupad ki jai as soon as the as, as soon as the oblation was offered in the fire a person appeared from the fire altar wearing a golden garland and a white dress he was carrying a golden pot filled with rice boiled in milk text 37 sa vipra anumato raja grihitvan jali naudanam avagrahaya mooda yuktaha pradhat patnya udharadihi king was very liberal and after taking permission from the priest he took the preparation in his joined palms and after smelling it he offered a portion to his wife <clears throat> the the word udharadihi is significant in this connection the wife of king sunit was not fit to accept this benediction but the king was so liberal that without hesitation he offered to his wife the boiled rice in the milk prasada received from the yajna purusha of course everything is designed by the supreme personality of god as will be explained in later verse this incident was not very favorable for the king since the king was very liberal the supreme personality of god in order to increase his detachment from the material world willed that a cruel son be born of the queen so that the king would have to leave home as stated above lord vishnu fulfills the desires of the karmis as a desire but lord fulfills the desire of a devotee in a different way so that devotee may gradually come to him this is confirmed in the bhagavad gita ದಾಮಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಯೋಗಂ ತಂ ಯೇನ ಮಾಮ ಉಪಯಂತಿ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ದಿ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಮೇ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಪರ್ಪ ಸೊ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೌ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಗ was issueless performed various yajnas to please the yajna purusha in order to fulfill his desire to have a son the past time continues where the priests they were offering varieties of 
things into the fire and in this verse we see as soon as the oblation of fire oblation was offered in the fire a person appeared from the fire altar wearing a golden garland and a white dress he was carrying a pot filled with rice boiled in milk the king was very liberal to taking permission from the priest he took the preparation in his joined palms and after smelling it he offered a portion to his wife so this paisam that was delivered by yajna purusha would give a son to king anga and of course as we are already proper is explained in this purport he happened to a cruel son who was the cause of him having to leave the palace so shila prabhupad makes a very important point which all devotees must be must understand in respect to different things that happen in their life of devotional service shila prabhupad says here let us try to understand as stated above lord vishnu fulfills the desires of the karmis as they desire a lord fulfills the desire of a devotee in a different way so that the devotee may gradually come to him this is confirmed in the bhagavad gita dadami buddhi yogam tam yena maam upayanti the the lord gives a devotee the opportunity to make progress further and further so that he may back go back home back to god and so it is the nature of the soul to have desires it is not the vaishnava understanding of brahman is that the brahman is a person which means desire free will feelings aspirations all these things are part of the jiva but they are part of the jiva because jiva is part of the supreme person who has all these different kinds of personal or personhood characteristics matter cannot desire matter cannot be excited matter cannot be desiring they are not the qualities of matter they are the qualities of brahman the qualities of spirit of course the ability to desire is that of the spirit but the actual content of what the desire is depends upon the association of the living entity with material nature or spiritual nature so desire is a must desire will always be there so in devotional service we purify our desires
but all the desires devotees are non devotees they are all fulfilled by the param ishwara the supreme ishwara who is the cause of all causes and the supreme controller of everything who is residing within and without of everything entire existence is standing on him as beads are threaded around a string so krishna sarva karana karanam the cause of all causes the supreme enjoyer has multiple activities one such activity is the creation of this material world just in in order to fulfill the <coughs> desires of the living entities the desires which are unconscious un krishna conscious desires desires of independent existence in total forgetfulness of krishna so for such living entities this material world is created by him very mercifully go ahead you want to independently enjoy i will create this material world for all jeevas who are similar like you of course the lord has to be neutral because the material desires of the living entities are not non interfering with other living entities desires suppose a person says i want to make extraordinary profit from this man if that is fulfilled to then the lord is unfair to the other person because he will be losing if somebody gain somebody should lose In the material world all desires are mutually conflicting one way or the other that is why the super intelligent supremely intelligent lord has created the laws of karma if you deserve you desire and if you deserve it shall be sanctioned it shall be facilitated as per laws of karma but without the lord facilitating even the non devotees cannot fulfill any of their desires so this aspect of the lord we as devotees of the lord we have to understand this aspect of the lord who is all pervading and who in fact has connection with all living entities seated in their heart even though the living entities are not remembering him he is there in everybody's heart and he is taking to the journey of their individual life centered around i am the body sanctioning different desires maintaining this material world if there is stability in this material world in people's life it is because of the all pervading supreme lord krishna in that particular leela entire existence material and spiritual existence is a estate of the supreme personality of godhead it is his estate just like a rich man as an estate imagine a person whose estate is this entire material existence that is shirodakshay vishnu under his superintendence through his various agencies kala karma the trigunas 
this so called life of living entities from birth to death is made possible so from this is a perspective from which as the krishna says everybody follows my path as you surrender i reciprocate devotees non devotees want independent life of independent desires same principle as you surrender i reciprocate so it's okay no have a independent life as per the laws of karma independent means if you you also want to independently earn okay that is karma earn your good fortune so all these facilities are created by the supreme lord entire propancha the entire existence is running around the will and the order and the desire and the plan of one supreme personality of god hai my lord my lord who is seated in my heart it is not only my lord is the lord of all living entities and the lord of the entire existence now come to the point that prabhupada is explaining here living entities desires karmis desire the lord is seated in the heart he directs them how to fulfill their desires if they deserve if they don't deserve he'll give them the intelligence how to create it how to start deserving how to start deserving then you deserve you do your work then your result will come in this way the lord reminds not only living entities desires unfulfilled desires he also inspires them to work for those desires so in this way the entire existence is running material world is running now devotees also have desires to please the supreme lord now devotees desire they are not independent desires the devotees are careful i have been in this material world for millions and billions of lives i have created so many desires of independent desires lord is very kind even now if i want he gets yes independently desire the devotee after understanding the philosophy of krishna consciousness says i will not have any desire other than the desire of the lord that is the difference of the devotee's desire so devotees do not there they want to catch the desire of guru and krishna and even in that desire for guru and krishna specific desire in for particular service for particular desire in that service a particular desire for a particular result he doesn't agitate his mind and get fixed on it he is always in a prayerful mood oh lord if that is what you desire for me let it be fulfilled for me in your service the devotee thinks that i have nothing else to achieve in this material world so i want to serve you please manifest your desire for me today now every moment devotees work on a mystical platform not on a 
intellectual rational platform they execute work on a intellectual rational platform but their origin of desires inspiration they all come from a surrendered constant surrendered relationship with the lord in the heart devotee is very scared to desire in this material world on his own is very scared as propal is explaining here even if he is desiring and if it's fulfilled or not fulfilled krishna is in control of the life of a devotee and since he is in control of the life of a devotee and the devotee has prayed to the lord let me not deviate from krishna consciousness in this life the lord converts the desire of the devotee even if there is a material desire into a blessing not necessarily giving positive results we always think often that devotion service the ultimate measurement of devotion service is result of my work no doubt it is a measure but it is a secondary measure in the eyes of the lord he is the one who gives the results so what is the point in taking credit i got the result the eyes of the lord the devotee's journey of engaging in devotional service to bring about that result is what counts in the eyes of the lord bhavagrahi janardana with what attitude the devotee worked hard diligently intelligently to produce a result in the material world we are all instruments the sequence of events may produce the result the sequence of events are instruments whether in the pool of activities whether i offer those sequence of events or somebody else offers the sequence of events result will come that sequence of events is my you offer a he offer you offer so it's called nimitta matram bhava samvisach become an instrument in fulfilling my desire so devotees of often have so many reverses in life just like if you see here king vena from the materialistic point of view it's a calamity he got a son who will drive him out of the palace but transcendently if you see that created spiritual advancement for king vena so we with our tiny intelligence we cannot understand what is the best for me in any situation we should not be very sure so the lord knows what is the best for me yes i want the best to happen for me that's not a the wrong desire i all i want the best to happen to me i don't want to be in maya i want i want to see that i am please krishna best to happen in my life through my decisions best should come
just like desires are normal material desire themselves are there are two types two attitudes shreyas and prayas prayas means short term gain oh i see benefit in this because it gives me sense pleasure very obvious analysis why i should not give it take it up it's called prayas attitude your benefit the attitude of benefit analysis immediate in your attitude of benefit analysis what is my benefit in a long term it is called shreyas little more satguna oh i may have to suffer now but the results will be wonderful long term results so it's a human being who can actually sacrifice immediate gratification for the sake of something greater to be fulfilled in future now take into devotional devotion sir that shreyas and prayers and shreyas prayers means immediate benefit shreyas means long term benefit shreyas you take extend it to eternity then in every situation you have to take a decision that which pleases the supreme personality of god at because i know that is my highest good that brings me highest benefit for my soul it's my constitutional position to serve the supreme personality of god at nirantara perfection of existence so okay you can act in uh, in a calculated way instead of prayers in sh- do a shreyas analysis or forget any shreyas even if 100 lives i get uh, heavenly happiness you extend there your sh- your your analysis you will have to come back to earth you have to exhaust these are all temporary sukha dukha so in vaishnavism and krishna consciousness we learn that whether it is good or bad in terms of material situations it is immaterial i should make progress in my attachment to krishna i should make progress in being detached from everything in this material world my only eternal relative is the supreme personality of godhead therefore let me use this human form of life to act for the pleasure of the lord and not for sense gratification whether it is short term or long term so this is transcendental consciousness so devotees have faith <coughs> so as a, as we began explaining we cannot stop desiring we have to desire in conjunction with the lord we have to desire in prayerfulness with the lord may you manifest your desire every day for your servant i am your servant manifest your desires manifest your orders not only manifest the desires and orders i beg you for inspiration to execute that as your humble servant so there is no question of reckless desiring even for a devotee that why it is it mystical if you if you pray mystically you will be on the track because mata smriti jnanam apohanam cha krishna says i am seated in the heart of the devotee if you are praying to me that you desire that you should not have any other desire than desire to please me if you are sincerely praying i will manifest in your heart the desires that will please me and you act for those desires 
as my humble servant. सर्वस्म हृदय सन्विष्ट मत स्मृति ज्ञान सो डिवोशनल सर्विस इज नॉट परफॉर्म विदउट रेफरेंस टू कृष्णा हिमसेल्फ बीइंग द इंस्पायर डायरेक्टर इन इन इज डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ही सीटेड इन द हार्ट एस चैत्य गुरु therefore it is said that by guru's blessings you can serve krishna you want to serve your worshipable deities pray to the lord in your heart so that you get the kind right kind of desires and execute those desires with inspiration with enthusiasm the living entity is completely dependent upon the lord for everything karmi or devotees does not matter the atma in this body is completely depend upon paramatma it is a combine of atma and paramatma that is running this entire individual lives as well as the entire existence it is not that god is there only in the spiritual world this is a maya world yeah this behind the maya world is the supreme lord maya dakshena prakriti suite sa chara charam remember this declarations of the lord aham sarvasya prabhu mata sarvam pravartate living entities have neglected him but he cannot neglect the bhagavad gita also krishna says if i did not work the whole world will go to ruination so whether spiritual world or material world devotee knows that beyond all dimensions krishna exists everywhere as soon as you chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare if you want him 100% is there in front of you to guide you to direct you to talk to to surrender to to offer love to offer relationship so this in devotion service of the lord also because a material world somebody desires and then his mind is completely absorbed in that desire he is a, in a state of apeksha but for a spiritualist krishna advise in bhagavad gita be in nir apeksha we desire and we act and go on to the next act go on to the next act fulfillment of the desire is in the hands of the lord there is no anxiety i am only a servant i execute my work so to be in a constant state of uh, apeksha is not good even if it is for devotion service results of devotion service is not a good not the best consciousness If the anxiety for the results of devotion service comes constantly practice it to offer it to the lotus feet of the lord i can only take the anxiety of a servant not of the master we tend to control the devotional service situation controlling tendency is there to act like a master rather one should be constantly alert seeking the lord what next what next let me execute your instructions what next in this plan so that way devotee is peaceful if he is in too much apeksha mood
that means anticipating results then his mind cannot be steady he cannot chant peacefully he cannot hear peacefully because he is seated in in an unconstitutional mode of functioning of controlling mode controlling mode <clears throat> so performing devotion service is an art they not we exactly work like the karmis and then give the result that is one part one level but there is a quality to our devotion service of surrender dependence anxiety to do anxiety to do not anxiety for result anxiety to work anxiety to execute the work that is the anxiety of the servant servant is always thinking what i am supposed to do for my master what am i supposed to do for my master master has his own plan i have no plan in existence what i have plan in existence he would think i am not this body whom i have to work for i don't want to work for my body anymore which i am going to leave and go i have decided that i have to work for the worthwhile master the eternal master who is there life after life with me i want to serve krishna i want to serve his wishes we will come and go in one body another body but krishna is the same krishna all through which krishna remains to arjuna in the bhagavad gita also i am the same krishna all along if we develop a relationship with krishna even if our journey to back to god is not completed next life we will continue our service with him our relationship with him so it's so wonderful so reverses in devotee's life are taken as a blessings of the lord suppose i am very adamant sometimes the lord knows that this desire is not good still the lord may give that desire and make us experience the bad things from that desire even better than that is to be surrendered in advance to have no other desire always pray be in attitude that you don't want to have any other desire than what you desire for me to work questions वृंदराज श्रीमद्भागवत की जय जगद्गुशील प्रभुपाद की जय